Connecting a program with a database is considered a tough task in any programming language. It is used to connect the front end of your application with the back end database. And Python made this thing easy with its built in modules. To follow along in this video, you will need to have the basic understanding of SQL. But if you don't have it, then no problem. I suggest that you continue watching and you will definitely learn something new, at least the basics. Here we are going to connect SQLite with Python. Python has a native library for SQLite and let me tell you how it works. To use SQLite, we must import SQLite 3. Then we need to create a connection using connect method. We are inside our file directory and notice that we have only one file called create.py because in this file we are going to create a database. In order to do that, we need to create a connection using connect method. And then we need to pass the name of the database that we want to access. If there is a file with that name, but in our case, we don't have any database files. So Python will create a file with that given name. So let's go ahead and create a connection object and this will be equal to the SQLite3 module dot the connect method. And inside here, we will create a database and we will call it accounting because this database will concern the accounting department in our company. Accounting dot DB. We'll save that. Next, we need to create a cursor. And a cursor object is called to be capable to send commands to the SQL. Also, the cursor has a major role in working with Python. All the commands will be executed using cursor object only. For that, we will create a cursor object. We will call it CRSR, and this will be equal to the connection dot cursor method. And as you can see, it returns a cursor for the connection. This part is the fun part because we are going to create a table in the database. So we will create an object and we will write the SQL command in it with being commented and we will use the doc string for that. So let's have SQL command object and this will be equal to and we'll use the triple quotes like that. Then we will say create and SQL is case insensitive. So if you write create like that or create like this, doesn't matter, it will do the same thing. It will create a table. And we will follow that by table and then the name of the table, which is employees. Then open parentheses and we will need our fields. The first field is the ID, which is quite obvious. We need an ID for each employee. And it's an integer, of course, because it's a number. Then it's a primary key. And primary key is a unique key that identifies each employee by its ID number. Comma. Then we need also first underscore name. And this is a var char. And because we are not sure about the length of first name, we use the var char data type. So we will give it a maximum of 20 characters. The same thing with the last name, also var char data type and we will give it also 20 characters and we need the gender and this is char only or character only and char is a fixed length string data type so any remaining space in the field is padded with blanks and char takes up one byte per character we only need either m or f so we'll give it one character maximum and the last thing we need joining date and this is a date, which is quite obvious. Okay, so these are our fields. And the last thing we need to do is we need to execute. We need to call the cursor method execute, and we need to pass the name of the SQL command, which has everything here as a parameter in it. So let's take the cursor, which is the connection dot cursor right here, dot execute, which executes a SQL statement. And inside here, we will pass the SQL command. Great, so let's try that. Python create.py. Fantastic, 
So if you will take a look inside our file directory, you'll find that Python has created accounting.db. And in Visual Studio Code, there is no way that you can see what's inside any .db file. I know that might be some um, plugins or any external tool inside Visual Studio Code that allows you to check out what's inside any DB file, but it's not a big problem. So we have here accounting.db file is created successfully and it has all these fields inside. Now what's remaining is we need to insert the data in the table. And how to do that? Well, it's very easy. So let's get down here. We will get our SQL command object, which will be equal to, and we'll open triple quotes and we'll say insert into, which is another SQL command that says we want to insert into the employees table some values. So insert into employees, which is the name of the table, values, and inside here we will have our, so we have the ID, first name, last name, gender, and the joining date. So let's give our first employee 001 as an ID First name, John, last name, Doe. Uh, he's a male and the date is 2000, 04, 24. So April 24th, 2000. So here we have just inserted into the employees table, these values right here, but this is not enough. We will need to execute that SQL command. So we will copy the exact same line like we did here all right and let's create more employees so let's create three more so in visual studio code to copy lines below you select the lines that you would like to copy like that then you hit alt shift down one two and three so we have just copied this set of lines 16 17 18 19 three times and just we will change the, the numbers, uh, the ID numbers. So two, three. Okay. So after each line of inserting into the table, uh, we should execute. So just uh, for better representation, I'll give some space. Then what we need to do is we need to save the changes using the commit method. So connection dot commit and commit is a function that says like, Hey, I'm done. And let's save all the changes that we have made to the table, saving changes using commit method. And last but not least, we will need to close the connection. So here closing the connection and we'll say connection dot close and we are pretty much done we have created our first database uh, with sql light 3 but we can't see any data inside yet uh, we can't fetch any data so for that let's create another file we'll call it fetch dot py so fetching data from a record is as simple as inserting them. So the execute method uses the SQL command of getting all the data from the table using select asterisk or select all and just zoom in, which is written like that, select asterisk, which means select everything or select all from our table name, in this case, employees. So this command says, that, hey, I want to select everything from the employees table. And we can save that to a variable and then we can print that variable. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, let's first import the SQLite 3. Then again, we will create a connection. We'll call it a connection and SQLite3.connect. Uh, and we want to connect to our accounting.db inside uh, single quotes or double quotes doesn't matter and here we are going to fetch all the data from our employees table so this is our cursor let me see if we can do that 
So here is the create table, which is um, which it has all the values inside our table. And here we want to fetch whatever data we want. So for that, we'll say cursor dot execute double quotes like that. And I want to select all from employees. Then let's store all the fetched data in uh, a variable. We will call it data, and this will be equal to the cursor dot a method called fetch all. And fetch all, as you can see, it fetches all rows from the result set. And now let's print the data. Let's go ahead to our terminal and say Python fetch dot py and there you go we have all the data or all the values that we have inserted in the create.py file so we have one which is the id john first name do last name gender and date of joining so we have just printed all the rows inside our database in our example we have two sarah we have sarah jones and sarah day and i want just the names uh, of Sarah in our database. So I can say select all from employees where first name is equal to Sarah. So what I'm saying here is, hey, SQL, I want to select everything from the employees table where the first name is only equal to Sarah. So let's execute that file and see what we will get. And effectively, we get the result for only the employees with the first name is Sarah. Um, suppose that I want only Sarah Day. So what we will say here is um, select all from employees with first name equal to Sarah. And last name is equal to Day. So this is how you tell sql that i want to select all from employees where first name equal to sarah and last name equal to day and let's see what we will get and indeed we get only sarah day so this was a quick introduction uh, on sql and sql like three specifically which is built in python i hope this video was useful to you Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.